Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, we can factor 8 raised to the power x out. That's it. We have 8 raised to the power x into brackets. 1 plus 1 left inside, then equals to 96 from here. The next step is the same thing as 8 raised to the power x times 2 equals to 96 on this side. Then here we divide both sides by 2. Divide this side by 2. Also divide this side by 2. That is here, 2 cancel each other. We have 8 raised to the power x left equals to 96 over 2. That is, you can write this as 8 raised to the power x equals to 2 times 48 over 2. That is here, 2 cancel each other, and we have 8 raised to the power x equals to 48 here. Then, next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 48 on this side. Then, from here, we apply the power law of log logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, yeah, this becomes x log 8 equals to log 48 from here. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8, which implies here log 8 cancel each other. And we have x left here, which is equal to log 48 over log 8. Then, we can express 48 as 8 times 6. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 6 over log 8. Then here this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. That is what we have becomes x equals to log 8 plus log 6 over log 8. That is here. We separate this into two fractions. And all we have becomes x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 6 over log 8. That is from here. Log 8 cancel each other, and we have 1 left here. Then x is now equals to 1 plus log 6 over log 8. Then, from here as well, we can express 6 as 2 times 3, which implies what we have here becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 3 over log 8. Then here this also follows the law of logarithm. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 8. Then here we separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 3 over log 8. Then, here we can rewrite 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 is to power 3. Then what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 raised to power 3. Plus here we have log 3 
over log 2 raised to power 3. Then next we apply the power of log 3. 3 comes here and also from here and what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 3 over 3 log 2 which implies from here log 2 can switch to that we have 1 over 3 left then x is now equals to 1 plus 1 over 3 then plus here yeah, also we can write this as 1 over 3 log 3 over log 2 then here yeah, 1 plus 1 over 3 is same thing as 1 over 1 over 3 with the same thing as 4 over 3 that is here yeah, we have x equals to 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 to base 2 when we apply change of base that is log a over log b can be written as log a to base b then here we bring this together as one fraction and we have x equals to scm here as 3 then we have 4 plus log 3 base 2 so here we have the value of x in this problem as x equals to 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 4 plus log 3 base 2 over 3 then what we have here becomes a raised to power 4 plus log 3 base 2 over 3 times a raised to power 4 plus log 3 base 2 over 3 is it equals to 26 on this side and here we have same base multiplying it follows when we have a raised to power m times a raised to power also the power the same so we have m the same thing as a raised to power m plus m which is 2m the same way here we have a raised to power 2 times the power which is 4 plus log 3 base 2 over 3 then is it equals to 96 on this side and from what we have here we can also express it as 2 raised to power 3 but then we can write this as 8 raised to power 2 open this bracket and we have 2 times 4 that's 8 then plus 2 log 3 base 2 over 3 is equals to 96 here yeah? then now we express it here as 2 raised to power 3 that is we have 2 raised to power 3 then raised to power 8 plus 2 log 3 base 2 over 3 is equals to 96 on this side that is okay i just noticed an error here sorry about that so let's look at it from here on the question the problem we saw was having plus actually here yeah? so and that implies that this should be plus from here okay sorry about that thing we are talking about this now we should do this again and this is plus and when we have two things together it means twice of that thing that's two a raised to power m so here yeah, we can just say this is two times eight raised to power four plus log three base two all over three okay 
is this equals to 96 here? Then it implies here we have two times 8 can be written as 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 4 plus log 3 base 2 over 3. Is it equals to 96 here? Then what happened here? This power multiplies, this cancel each other, and we have 2 times 2 raised to power 4 plus log 3 raised 2 left is equals to 96 from here. Then we apply the log in this is here. A raised to power m plus n, same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. But this here, we have 2 times 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log. 3 base 2 is equals to 96 on this side. Then this is 2 times 2 raised to the power 4. 2 multiplied itself 4 times. That's 16. Then times here yeah, follows on we have a raised to the power log b to base a. And this goes to b. So here yeah, the same thing as 3 is equals to 96 here. Yeah. And 2 times 16, that's 32. And 32 times 3, that's 96, equals to 96 here. Hence, we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then, here yeah, we conclude that x equals to 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. And see you next class. Bye for now.